Hello, trading is closed on May 11, 2020. We'll go over our calls, look for the pattern with the early high, which tends to be a rally day high in the final hour and close near the high. Yes, yes, and no. It tends to close near the high. It's negative when it does not, but you take the high out early tomorrow, that's good enough. We had, um, well, this thing slipped on me. We'll put it back. It'll let me. It says, bulls need to avoid a strong gap down. They didn't. And to continue past today's high, that was Friday. They did that to continue the rally. So one out of two. That's kind of confusing for me, to be perfectly honest with you. Normally, when you gap down after a Friday rally like that, that's curtains. You keep on dropping. During the day, we had an ultimate buy signal. This rally satisfied it, but the system said it was false with retrace, said this drop was false with retrace, and that's already happened. We have some longer term ideas. We think this high from like a week and a half ago is going to hold. Well, it's holding so far, but it's pretty, it's pretty close and kind of tenuous at this point. We want it to go, want to have resistance at the 61.8. It's held so far, but usually when you bang up against it that many times, you're going to break through. Again, usually and always aren't the same thing. We want it to go 350 points below this green line that started out pretty far away. Now it's not so far away at all, and if we just piddle around a while, we can do it without a big decline. It's kind of a confusing picture for me, to be perfectly honest. Tomorrow's pattern has a really high. You could gap down first. Today's open gap down. It was after a Friday rally closed in the high. It's negative. It should lead to lower prices. That didn't happen, and that's bullish. You get a sell signal that doesn't work. Usually it's reversed in grand style, but that would be invalidated if we gapped promptly undercut today's low. Futures are down. Doesn't mean we'll do it, but it's possible. When the midday high exceeds the early high in this pattern, it shouldn't close to the high of the day. And it's bearish, we didn't. But again, despite futures being down, if we gapped and promptly overtook today's high, that negativity goes away. Paris was a great opportunity to start a decline today. They failed. Usually you move strongly. And usually when that happens, you move strongly in the other direction. That did not happen. Futures are down. All the bulls have to do to get themselves back in charge is to gap and promptly overtake today's high. But again, I don't know if that will happen or not. This is a pattern sufficiently muddled for me. I'm not making a call for tomorrow. Maybe these mixed signal rules will work, but I'm just going to sit this one out. And that's today's non-call.